Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, I am back with a new video and this video is going to talk about TS of monocot stem. When we talk about monocot stem, first we need to understand there are four zones in monocot stem. First is epidermis, second is sclerenchyma, third is ground tissue and the fourth one is vascular bundle. Whenever we talk about monocot stem, we need to understand that the outermost layer has a waxy covering and this waxy covering is nothing but it is called as cuticle. Below the cuticle, there will be the first layer of monocot stem, even we can say the uppermost layer and this uppermost layer is called as epidermis. Now when we talk about epidermis, we need to understand that it is a single layer of cells it has cuticle and it has stomata below epidermis we find specialized layer that is called as hypodermis so this layer basically which i am drawing is hypodermis when you talk about hypodermis what they are made up of so we can say that this hypodermis is made up of sclerin chyma cells or we can say sclerenchymatous tissue which is 2 to 3 layer of cells with respect to the next part it is the vascular bundle and we talk about vascular bundle it is xylem and phloem and how is the xylem and phloem in monocot stem we can say it is conjoint collateral and closed when i use the word closed it simply means that there is no cambium in case of monocot stem the vascular bundle is scattered in the cortex. Only in monocot stem, we find this that the phloem parenchyma is absent. The protofloem is broken. The metafloem consists of companion cells and the sieve tubes. So it's like a watermelon where the seeds are embedded in the red part. Same is the case of vascular bundle that forms the ground tissue. So we can say that the ground tissue is not differentiated into cortex, endodermis or pericycle. So the like seeds are dispersed in the watermelon. In that same way, the vascular bundle is also dispersed in the ground tissue. When you talk about this vascular bundle, we need to understand that it has a protoxylum. And along with protoxylum, there will be a metaxylum. So protoxylum is towards the center. And when we talk about metaxylem, it is towards periphery. And we need to understand that the metaxylem, it has pitted vessels. And this kind of arrangement is called as endarch condition. What is endarch? Protoxylem towards center and metaxylem towards periphery. And below this, there is a lysogenous cavity. That is, it is present lower to the protoxylem. It is non-functional and it's a water-filled cavity. Below this lysogenous cavity, there are sclerenchyma cells. Hope friend you have understood the monocot stem in a very simple way. Do give a like to the video and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.